Hello and welcome to Ganesha's Wave channel. In our previous videos, we have mentioned, uh, means we discussed about difference equation and that is also when it is of power function, means difference equation is in the form of power function. And now today, we are going to discuss about what we can do to solve a difference equation if trigonometric function is given to us, okay? That means you have to find out complementary factor, uh, complementary factor as it is. The process is same. Process will remain the same. Whereas for particular integral, you have to use some formulas with tactics. Let me tell you how. So let's begin. Here you are giving me the question. First of all, let me tell you what are the formulas which we can use. See, on a general note, if you want to find out the value of, let's say, cos n alpha and sin l alpha, then the formula is e raised to power i alpha n plus e raised to power minus i alpha n by 2. Okay? Similarly here, e raised to power alpha n, e raised to power minus alpha n, but the sign is negative by 2 iota. Okay? You know the value of iota. Iota is minus root minus 1 and iota square is minus 1. Similarly, it will keep going. So, these are two formulas. Okay? And if you remember from our last video from difference equation, if we are given with a formula, like if the equation, the characteristic equation, auxiliary equation is like this, and we have power function, then we simply put A in place of E, and this is our particular integral. But similarly, if we have cos n alpha, then what you need to do? You have to take this only, but here now your A is this, E raised to power i alpha n plus E raised to power i alpha n minus I do okay when you take sine then you have to take this formula okay I know these are uh, some typical formulas but you will learn as you practice as we go through the process let's begin so first step is same you have to make um, an equation this is your auxiliary equation okay now you have to solve it because it has trigonometric function in it so we cannot do factorization. We are using quadratic formula. What's the quadratic formula? Minus b, here it is in the form of a square minus bx. I mean x square minus b, b is, b is here, it, b is this. a square minus bx plus c. It is in the form of like this. So what we have to do? Minus b square plus minus root d. d is discriminant and what's the formula for that? root b square I'm really sorry I need to put a note down the formula first let me write it down okay and in place of d you have to put b square minus 4 ac alright so now it is minus b is minus 2 cos alpha plus minus root b square is minus square is plus 2 square is 4 cos square alpha minus 4 a is 1 c is 1 so 4 divide by 2 a which is 2 times 1 is 2 so it will become 2 cos alpha plus minus you can take 4 common 4 outside root will become 2 root cos square minus 1 so you know, cos square theta plus sine square theta is 1, right? So, sine square will become 1 minus cos square, right? Theta. If you are taking theta, you have to take theta here also. So, what you can do, if you take minus common, means do it like this. Let me do it in the next step. 2 cos alpha plus minus 2. If you take minus common, it will become 1 minus cos square alpha, right? So, 
First of all, cancel, take two common, cancel two with two. Cos alpha minus root is iota, 1 minus cos square is sine square. And outside the root, it will become sine, right? So this is your, these are your roots, real and distinct, com, sorry, complex and distinct roots. So your complementary factor, you know the formula for complementary factor of complex numbers. What is it? C1 cos alpha plus sine alpha. Okay. So it becomes just n. You have to put n here. C1, let me write it down again. C1 cos n alpha plus C2 sine n alpha. This is your these, this is your complementary factor and you can take 1 raised to power n but because n is positive here so you can remove it as well 1 raised to power positive will become 1 so this is your complementary factor this was the easy bit right you know about this now the complex part is here what we are going to do we are calculating oh god I should note down at least the Solution. What was that? Cos alpha plus minus sine alpha i. This was your root. And C1 cos n alpha. I'm just looking into the reflections. C1, C2 sine n alpha. Yeah. These are. This is your complementary factor. Now let's. Let's begin. With the, this was your auxiliary equation. Now for particular integral, formula is 1 upon your equation. Into the right hand side part, whatever it is given. Here we have trigonometric function. Cos n alpha or alpha n. Okay. Now what you need to do. Usually what we do. We just put this value of a, a here in place of e, right? But now, the thing is, expand it. It can be written as i, this form, e raised to power i alpha n, e raised to power minus i alpha n by 2, right? Now, this is in numerator. Okay. In denominator, what you have to take, this is e square minus 2 if you see cos alpha if you want to find out cos alpha then n is 1 if you put n 1 then it will become e raised to power i alpha e raised to power minus i alpha right e raised to power i alpha plus e raised to power minus i alpha i hope you can see i'm writing down large letters today large numerical alphabets sorry numerical like, um, digits. So this is cos alpha e plus 1. Okay, 2 is cancelled by 2. You can take 2 as common here. Now, what is left? e square minus e, e into minus e into distribute this e raised to power alpha minus e into e raised to power minus i alpha plus 1, right? Can I ask you, can you put 1 as e raised to power i alpha into e raised to power minus i alpha? Because you know, base same power add. My i alpha minus i alpha 0, e raised to power 0 is 1. So you can Transform 1 into this, right? Why I am doing so? You will get to know in a bit. So, now if you take E as common, what is left? This minus, if you take E raised to power minus. So, what is left? E minus E raised to power I alpha. You can take E raised to power I alpha common. Right? 
into e raised to power okay it's not been solved yet you have to carry forward now let me write down the equation as a so you can see i'm writing it down here by e minus e is to power i alpha e is e minus e is to power minus i alpha okay this was your particular integral okay now let's start now the question has been so what you can do you can separate each part okay e alpha and e minus e alpha plus e raised to power minus i alpha and e minus e both parts because these are in multiplication plus i alpha e minus e minus i alpha okay now if you see this is the form this is your an any of these take one as an example of fe okay any one of these consider only this bit okay this bit so what's the formula you have to just put a in place of e right so what is a here e raised to power minus i alpha right if you put e raised to power minus sorry e raised to power i alpha here it will leads to 1 by 0 in determinate form right so you cannot do this so now take next bit this one if you put e raised to power i alpha here then it cannot be cancelled because powers are different so let's do it in that way so you are taking these two together and you are putting this a into e in place of e so e i find this is as it is e raised to power i alpha minus e raised to power minus i alpha okay similarly here if you put e raised to power minus i alpha here it will be cancelled so you need to keep this as it is now for this in place of e what you need to put a just a so what is left apart from n e raised to power minus i alpha okay now if you see you can take is is there anything which you can take common e raised to power i alpha minus e raised to power minus i alpha these two are same thing but with opposite sign right so if you take minus common that means take minus common now these are two same things right right so you can take them common but before that you can also apply that formula but it's okay i am taking them common what is left e is for i alpha minus i alpha okay this is common what is left i alpha and right this is what we have got now if you see this is somewhat like this e raised to power i alpha minus e raised to power minus i alpha if we will get two iota in upon okay so what i am doing i am dividing with two iota and multiply with it multiply with two iota now this form is the formula for sin alpha right so you can write it 2 to the 4 sin alpha okay now what is left this bit right okay now if you see again this 
is of this form but again the problem is same if you put i alpha here it will form 1 by 0 form so if you watch my video of difference equation for power method you will see that if there is something in the form of a raised to power n and if you put a here and it is forming indeterminate form then the formula is changed into n into a raised to power n minus 1 okay similarly apply this formula here this is your fe apply analogy formula here equation here analogy compare these two this is your equation this is your e raised to the n now put this what's the formula n is here a a is e raised to power i alpha raised to power n minus 1 so you need to multiply it with n minus 1 okay Similarly, n into e raised to power minus i alpha n minus 1. Okay? Now what you can do, let me raise it once again. So, I know it's a long one, but see here. 1 by 4 i of the sign i alpha n into e raised to power i alpha n minus 1. Minus n e raised to power i minus i alpha n minus 1. So if you take n common, what is left? And if you split it again into 2 into 2 iota and take this 2 iota inside and you have this form, right? Right? Now again apply analogy for this formula i alpha instead of n here is n minus 1 rest formula is same so that will be the formula for sine n minus 1 right sine n minus 1 alpha so your 2 iota is consumed in the formula only so this is your particular integral so the complete solution will be complementary factor which was this one c1 cos n alpha plus c2 sin n alpha plus now this particular integral n by 2 sin alpha sin into n minus 1 alpha. This is your complete solution. I hope you got it. If not, just try to do it by yourself. If not, then I'll make it easy for you. Just comment in the comment box. I'll try to make it easy for, easy for you. And if you have got any other problems or you want me to provide you the solution, don't hesitate to comment in the comment box. And if you like this video, if you understand anything from it, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much to be here and we will see each other later. Till then, take care. Bye.